Greetings, and welcome back for another Music Theory Bite. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to perform supermetric triplets, triplets that take up more than one beat. If that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, then this is the video for you. Just to refresh your memory, a triplet is a rhythmic figure that uses three even notes in some span of time. A metric triplet would be three even notes taking up exactly one beat. A submetric triplet would be three even notes in perhaps half a beat, or a third of a beat, or a quarter of a beat. And a supermetric triplet is three even notes taking up more than one beat. The more common types of supermetric triplets that we have are three notes in the span of two beats, what some people call an augmented triplet, or three notes in the span of four beats, so what some people call a doubly augmented triplet. And those are the ones I'm going to show you how to perform today because they are, in some ways, the least accurately performed rhythmic figures in all of music. I can't tell you how many times I hear people trying to perform triplets evenly, and they never quite do it. I oftentimes hear that rock and roll rhythm that kind of goes, da, 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 da. You notice that my notes aren't quite even. They feel a lot more comfortable because we have the notes showing up on beats or components of beats but we never quite get that rhythmic tension that makes a triplet really work very well. So we'll start with an augmented triplet, three notes in the span of two beats. Now eventually you want to get to the point that you just feel this rhythmic figure and you don't have to go through all the math that I'm about to show you. But until you get to that point, for accuracy's sake, make sure you go through all of these steps. So step one, the first thing we're going to do is feel a triplet division underneath those two beats. It's very important that you do this in order to place those notes in the right places. So if this is my beat, I want to feel a triplet division underneath each of those. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The next step is to renumber those divisions so that I have pairs of those divisions. That's what I'm going to use to create the actual triplet. So where I was going, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm now going to keep those divisions going the exact same speed, and I'm going to change them to pairs of divisions. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I put the notes on each of those ones. So it's going to sound like this. This is what I'm thinking in my head as I perform this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And those are fairly even augmented triplets. Even harder to perform are the doubly augmented triplets. That is three notes in the span of four beats, although the process is remarkably similar. First, I need to feel that triplet division underneath those four beats. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two. Once I get that going and I feel that comfortably, the next step is to renumber those divisions without changing the speed of them into groups of four. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And so the next step is to put the notes on the ones. I'm thinking those triplet divisions the whole way through, otherwise I'm going to be guessing on where I put those notes. And if I'm guessing, a pretty good chance of getting it wrong. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Da, 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 da. And those were even triplets doubly augmented. That is three notes in the span of four beats. It is critical that you feel the correct division underneath those beats, and then you feel where those notes, on which divisions those notes occur. Her. That's what's going to create a nice, even, steady triplet. And then once you get used to the feel of that, then you can start to put that into your music without having to do the math ahead of time. I often think of when I'm learning a new piece of music with triplets in it, the first couple of times I perform it, I go through all those steps to ensure the accuracy, and then I go through after I've figured out how the rhythm should sound, and then I do it by feel, because of course music is not mathematical, music is an emotional Endeavor. Well, that does it for this video. If you 
found it helpful, make sure you like it. Feel free to leave constructive comments below. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the latest Music Theory Bites as they become available. Until next time.